Hi, Steve Howland here for DieCastAirplane.com with another in-depth product review. Today we're going to do the American 737-800 in the Reno Air Retro Livery 1200 scale from Gemini Jets released in March of 2018. And along with that we'll take a look at a ground service equipment set that they released at the same time and it's a great addition to this model to make yourself a nice little ground display. Gemini Jets has uh, started making models in the late 90s and they started with one 400 scale and then uh, back in the late 2000s they started making one 200 scale. They've always been one of the most popular brands in the one 400 scale and as soon as they released the one 200 scale they really uh, raised the bar and, were one, and have become one of the highly sought after uh, one 200 scale lines. So they do a great job with the box, there's a nice graphic of the uh, aircraft on the box and it's a nice solid box good foam packaging and there's the stand included with the 1200 scales and the model itself is highly detailed and you'll find I'll put that down here for a minute you'll find in the box is a little packet and this packet has the landing gear for display upright and we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit so let's put this box aside for the moment. So one of the great features of the die-cast uh, models from Gemini Jets is that they're all die-cast, including the wings, uh, horizontal services, uh, stable, uh, and the tail. They've got great detail in the paint job. They have antennas. They have the top uh, position light. Uh, this one has uh, the sharklets on the wingtips, the wing walk are, are painted on them, and the details <clears throat> right down to the uh, paint, fine paint, the markings there, the markings around the door, the markings on the engines themselves, on the, on the nose gear, the gear roll, and in this model, the gear can be taken off and the model just simply changed to being on a stand if you would like. So here's the model on the taxiway or on the runway. So now we're going to convert this model in the flight mode and the 737 looks beautiful on the ground but it really looks beautiful in the air like it's meant to be there. 737 uh, was originally launched in 1994 in the Dash uh, 800 version and it has a lot of refinements. It had larger overhead storage bins, seats up to 160 people and it had a GE CFM 56 Dash 7 B24 jet engines with a range of 3,060 nautical miles. This paint job is representative of uh, the American Airlines Reno Air Heritage Series. This model had its first flight in January uh, 24th of 2013 and it's really great with the tail with the snow uh, covered peaks there. So I've already put the stand together and that the model will go on but I'll change the gear out. So one of the great things that Gemini Jets has done with the landing gear on most of their 1-200 scale models is made it removable and just held in by magnets. So it's easy to take out the main gear. You just pull it up, pull it right out of there, and the nose gear as well just comes right out. The magnets are great because they make the gear removable, but they also keep it in place. I've taken the uh, gear door bays out of the package here and they have little false gear on them there they go in there and then there's a nose gear door that just hides the nose gear
and slips in there. And there's a little tool that comes with it, this little sprue to help you to get these pieces out once they're magnetized in. So here it is on the tripod and the other in innovation that Gemini Jets has done is put a little plastic ring in here so that when the stand goes in, the stand is held in tight and it, it mounts very securely. It is, of course, a small stand and is uh, something that you do want to be careful with when it's on the shelf. Gemini Jets also sells a mahogany stand that you can display with it. That's a really beautiful stand. I mean, you can buy that as an aftermarket stand. And we'll give you links to all of these uh, items uh, on the text that follows the video. So let's uh, convert it back to uh, ground mode. And then we'll get out the ground service equipment to go with it and show you how that display might go. So here's the new uh, American Airlines ground service set. They've done a few generic sets, but it's really great to have them marked in the actual airline. Come nicely blister packed, you can see all the items. So with the service vehicles, they all have rolling wheels and they have great detail. They're, they're even hollow right through on this bus here. So we've got two people movers, buses, and when we have this displayed on, the, on our tarmac here, and by the way, this is a nice display board that's made by InFlight, so it's great for laying out a display. And then there's the uh, air stairs come with it, and they're just the right size for the vehicle. And a fuel truck. We got a kind of tight setup here, and not everybody at the same time. Maybe we'll put the fuel truck on the other side, and they can be fueling, refueling the aircraft. And the food service truck even goes up and down so that we can park that uh, back here by the by the service door and bring in food. So it really makes uh, sort of a dynamic little display that accentuates the aircraft and lets you set up uh, your little airfield uh, diorama. Thank you for watching this latest review from diecastairplane.com. We'll post links to all of these items following the video. Thanks for shopping with us.